Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're taking a look and reviewing the TRN X7 All Balanced Armature Earphones. Uh, this is All Balanced Armature, there's no hybrids, there's no tribers, there's no planers, it's balanced armatures only, 7 each side and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, welcome and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps uh, grow the channel. I, I can't stress enough how much it actually helps and makes me keep being able to do these different comparisons and uh, reviews. The channel, if you're new here, is predominantly all about comparisons. Um, there's a lot of earphones you can see that have been reviewed on this channel. And if you're subscribed to the channel, you can ask anything you can you can say anything i want to see this versus this this versus this i i want to see this DAC compared to this dap uh, whatever you want to see just go ahead and write it in the comments and if you're subscribed to the channel i'm going to answer also if you're subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe and then ask questions like tell me what you're listening to what's your budget what other earphones you've had in the past and uh, yeah, I'm more than happy to give you a recommendation based on what I would do if I was in the same position. Just understand that it's a lot of that's based on what I do, uh, the way I listen to music and my preferences. But if you like something else that I like, that's usually a good way to, um, you know, uh, purchase your next set of earphones. Because a lot of these chi fi earphones that I review, uh, it's impossible to just walk into a store and be like, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go and try all of these. And, listen to them and then pick the ones that I want. The days of going to a big box seller and being able to do that, it's long, long gone. Uh, so usually you should read reviews, maybe find a reviewer that listens to music in the same way you listen to music, listens to the same sort of things. And uh, yeah, if I like something, then there's a good chance you're probably going to like it as well, or to an extent. Uh, we're all different. We all listen different and we all listen on different equipment. But um, yeah, I think ultimately, the, the, if you like the same sort of stuff, that it will be beneficial to you. Uh, okay, so subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get into uh, the this the TRN X7. So it comes in a very very simple uh, black box. It's got an outer sleeve that gives a description of the the configuration of the balanced armature drivers on the inside, and it is a three bore uh, earphone, meaning those three bore tubes. Uh, or three channel tubes um, through which the, the different balanced armatures are configured into. Uh, the strange thing here, which we'll talk about a little bit later, is that they've got three dedicated to the highs, and the highs are not uh, as prominent as I would have expected with that, but why would you, why would you do multi-balanced armature earphones instead of just using one balanced armature? Uh, well, with hybrids and tribrids, uh, you're getting the best of each technology. So traditional electrostatics, for example, are very good at uh, producing highs. Uh, balanced armatures are very good at producing mids and uh, dynamic drivers are better at creating that impactful uh, sub-bass and deep bass. The, the balanced armature, if you're just using a single one of them, is kind of stretched a little bit thin in producing the deepest of the lows to the highest of the highs. So what companies do is to compensate for the lack of air moving in a balanced armature tube. Now, balanced armatures are very fine. It's called moving iron technology. It's a very fine piece of metal that's moving in a very small uh, space that is very moving very, very fast. That means that you're not getting the same quantity of air as something like a big 10 to 14 millimeter dynamic driver would be moving air, actual physical volumes of air in and out of your ears. Um, so to compensate for that, some companies put multiple balanced armatures in and concentrate a lot more um, balanced armatures down at the low end so that they're going to have a dedicated balanced armature or more. Uh, to reproduce the, the lows and, and make up for that sort of deficiency. For the most time, it does work. A lot of the best earphones in the world are uh, all balanced armatures. Uh, I certainly don't have a problem with that. I, these ones are fantastic. These are all balanced armatures. These are the Canera Skulled. Um, so let's get into the packaging and we'll talk a little bit about the sound. So packaging, decent. Um, what am I going to say about this though? 
there's definite shades and whiffs of uh, KZ being involved in this one. KZ, for those who don't know, are a company called Knowledge Zenith. They are run by the Shenzhen Audio Company or Shenzhen Acoustics or something, um, which is a big company. Uh, and they tend to uh, OEM a lot of stuff. They, they tend to manufacture a lot of products for different companies. Uh, and one of the ones uh, that's probably most famous is CCA earphones. Uh, CCA earphones. Let's see. Um, so this is a CCA earphone, which is definitely made by KZ, and this is a KZ earphones. Um, you can see reviews of both of these True Wireless earphones. Uh, you can see there's some similarities there. Basically, what happens is a company will go to KZ and they'll say, can you produce this for me? Uh, give them the specifications, the way they want it to sound, the, the price point they're trying to hit and the design they want to have to, to hit their aesthetics. Uh, I can't be 100% sure that this is KZ's involvement, but there's definitely enough there that it, it, you know, it ticks a lot of boxes. Uh, for example, this is the, the plastic that this case came in, uh, and this is the plastic that the accessories come in. Uh, this, on the other hand, is KZ SKX or something. This is the, the bag. So the bags all match up, the cables match up. Uh, little things about the design that you probably wouldn't notice unless you review as many earphones as me. But that's not a bad thing. KZ are really coming coming good in the past year. Uh, they they th have a tendency to throw a lot of stuff at the wall and see what sticks. Um, but in the past three, four months, the, the earphones they've been sending out have been a lot more refined, a lot more polished straight out of the box. So if TRN are willing to use that uh, and it's going to hit the right price point for the consumer, it's, it's really nothing that you should complain about. Uh, KZ do, in their time, produce some mind-boggling earphones. Like I think this is the ZS16 or something. The This is the crazy one with tons of balanced armatures on each side. Uh, so, 12 balanced armatures aside, or 16, I can't remember, they put so many balanced armatures in. Uh, the review of this, I'll put down in the description below, this is phenomenal in terms of detail and imaging, and to be honest, these are going to go head to head with these, uh, and we'll talk about it at the end. Uh, yeah, why don't we, we'll throw in a little comparison in here at the end. Okay, so the case, the case is pretty nice, it's a generic uh, Generic case with TRM branding on it. I've seen this case a million different times with different earphones, but it is a good case. It's padded a little bit on the inside. It's got this little gasket here, which is going to help keep water uh, out. It's strong enough to throw in a bag and forget about it. Uh, it'll keep your earphones safe, and that's that's basically... I much prefer a hard case over a soft case, so very little to complain about there, although it's just a cheap included case. In here you get the accessories, and surprisingly the accessories are pretty decent. Uh, it did come in that plastic bag, but you get a lot of different tips. You get uh, three sets of these silicone tips. These ones aren't my favorite, but these ones are very, very good. These are um, these red tip ones, they've got a nice firm grip, a nice tacky uh, feel to them. Uh, and also you get a, a set of foam tips, which is a little bit surprising because that's a little bit more than KZ would usually go for. So TRN have obviously asked them to be included. You do get your instruction manuals. If you need to use an instruction manual to figure out how to work your headphones, you probably shouldn't be spending this much money on headphones. Um, doo -doo -doo. Put that one off to the side. Cable. Cable's trash. Uh, the cable is... Uh, let's see if I can find this. This is the new uh, KZ cable. This is, for example, the one that, that comes with these earphones. Uh, this is a big improvement for KZ. You can see it still tangles and it's still quite bad. Um, but it's a big improvement. It's a big step forward in terms of uh, quality and performance, minus this absolutely hellishly awful uh, microphone and never ever order a KZ earphone with a microphone on it. Um, this one seems like the old KZ earphone uh, cable. It's it's hot trash. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Um, so my, my issues with this is that it retains a lot of memory. You can see these right angles and stuff. Like it retains a lot of memory. It gets tangled easily. Uh, and it's just not really a pleasant ear, uh, cable to use. So you, you probably want to consider 
up in your game maybe twenty thirty dollars to get a different cable uh, I, I would think that's probably a good idea for most people it does have metal hardware it's terminated in a 3.5 millimeter jack and it is braided it's kind of braided differently so it's twisted it's a two core twist twisted into the other two cores uh, and then after it's just a single two core twist uh, after the splitter point that's fine it cuts down on microphonics there is no cable cinch uh, on it but there is a, a metal splitter and it has this um, quite generous uh, ear guides at the top of it if we stick it into the earphones uh, and you'll see in a second that these are actually a really good looking set of earphones so this is what's uh, a little bit bonkers to me um, and you'll see this in a second trust me this is worth it what the hell were they thinking this is a cable that is designed I don't know if you can see that this is a cable that is designed to go into a recessed housing okay so you can see this little lip here. Uh, for those of you that don't know a lot about cables, this little lip here usually is a guide uh, or a stop point where you push it into a cable and it sits like like this. Uh, the reason you want to do that is that it protects the 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 terminations, the the pins from corrosion, especially from sweat and stuff like that. Now KZ produce their earphones like this with something called the QDC standard. Uh, yeah, here you, here you go, KZ's earphones here. Very nice. Um, the QDC standard solves the different problem by doing this. Let me do it with the, um, there's the KZ there. Let's push the cable in, here you go. And you can see it slots over the top. Uh, so there's a few different ways to do it like for example this is the Moondrop Aria with a, a two pin connector this is the KZ we were just talking about the, K, the KZ has the cable go over the top of it and pro provide protection the cable that comes with the uh, the TRN X7 is designed to go into a recess like this so you push it in and you can see it, it scoops itself into the recess and it sits inside this little groove. Now, <laughs> this one's hard for me to understand. This is, this is the same idea as the KZ, but instead of putting the cable that is meant to, you know, go into the earphone like this position, it instead sits even further away, creating this huge, stupid looking gap, which also looks like a weak point to me because this is extremely thin when it's exposed. This is idiotic, this is an oversight. They did not mean to do this. I can't believe for a second that they thought that this was what was meant to happen. This is, this is your number one reason to not buy these earphones, I'm going to say. There's still a good set of earphones and you can buy a set of QDC aftermarket cables and it'll fix that problem. But out the box, that's an oversight, big oversight. And it annoyed me, you can probably tell. Um, because the earphones themselves are gorgeous. I mean, that is one of the best looking earphones at its price point. The, the faceplate design is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Uh, the design of the shell is perfect, it's extremely comfortable, uh, it's extremely easy to get a good fit, it's going to work with sort of small medium ears. They've just blown it by uh, including that. The other thing that I'm not too big a fan of if, is if I bring in the, this is a C Audio Yumi, uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, earphone here, I'll leave a link to this in the description, I'll leave a link to the, the review I, I did on this. 
uh, in the description, but you can see here that this one has a metal nozzle on it and this one doesn't, this has a plastic nozzle uh, or the resin body nozzle. So once it drops and hits the ground, this is more prone to be damaged than the metal tip one. Just take a little bit of extra care if you ever get a set of earphones with that. Uh, I'll take these boxes out of the way. Um, so it's a case of they've done some things right. Ear tips good, included case good, build quality good, styling excellent, and actually the sounds pretty decent as well. For an all balanced armature earphone at this price point, it's actually really good. If you like a, a sort of darker sounding, rolled off treble, uh, smoother mid range, um, this is quite a good earphone and it actually does have quite a, a prominent bass for a balanced armature. Uh, albeit that the, the mid bass does tend to leak a little bit into uh, the lower mids. The, the mid bass, by that I mean where you get your sub bass, your mid bass, and then you have that sort of blending period where it goes into the lower mids. There's a little bit of mid bass hump on this one that you can detect. Uh, it's balanced armature, so it still retains enough detail in that, but it becomes a little bit over prominent over the, the lower mids. Um, still, that said, it's a very easy earphone to listen to. Imaging is pretty good. Sound stage is very good, actually, um, which is surprising because the treble is very, um, very laid back on this. Usually you get this um, perception of treble creating sound stage. Um, by that, I mean that a treble happy earphone creates these sort of sparkly and floaty notes, which creates this illusion that you're you're in a wide open space. That's not uh, really how this one's creating it. This is just having it through good imaging and uh, yeah, good positioning of the instruments makes it feel a little bit more spacious than your average earphone at this price point. Um, with everything said and done, I can't recommend them. Um, and the reason I can't recommend them is uh, the KZs. Um, the KZs are so good at this price point. The, the only barrier on these KZs is the size. The, the, they're a huge, huge earphone. You can see the, the size difference between them. Um, but this one is packed full of detail. Like It's so rich in detail. It really gives something uh, a little bit more than the average that you would expect from that. Uh, this one caught me by surprise and if you can get this uh, in your ears and get a comfortable fit, which to be honest I can do, it just sticks out quite a long way. Uh, this one sounds fantastic. In terms of other earphones, you know, you're talking, I think the C-Audio you may are around about $30, $40 more. So if you consider having it by a cable, um, you can have this one instead. I think the Arias are tonally better balanced and they cost about half the price. Uh, what else have I got here that could be useful to you guys? Uh, one, um, Fearless Audio, uh, oh no, The Audio Legacy 2. Actually, The Audio Legacy 3, which I don't have here. Uh, add them into this mix because that's going to be a good one. If you've already got a good source, of course, Tin Hi-Fi P2 is a little bit more expensive, but will blow all these out of the water. Uh, and yeah, let's see what else we got in here. I've got a lot of expensive earphones that I'm going through here. Oh yeah, uh, Sure Tape. So this is going up against all these other ones. And I got to think that uh, this is, this is probably bottom of this heap. So all these ones you can grab at Linsol or on Amazon. I'm going to leave links to one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to leave links to all five of these down below. I'm going to leave a link to this one down below. And I'm also going to leave links to the, the reviews that I've done of these so that you can check them out and compare for yourself. All in all, it's, it's not a bad earphone at all. I actually quite liked it. I, I like the tuning for a relaxed listen. Just... What are you doing with the cable and the price is a little bit uh, up there when KZ are giving you such value with the balanced armatures on this one. Um, you're getting some crazy sound from these ones. You're getting excellent tuning from uh, the Aria and the C-Audio are also excellent as well. So um, 
while I don't think these are bad earphones at all, I just think those these ones are probably going to be better value for money. So go and check out those ones and I'll see you on the next review. Sorry this got so long, but if you do want to see more, you want to ask any questions, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below. Catch you on the next one.